Welcome to Revolting News' Anti-Labor Day celebration. I'm Thelma, your revolting producer. We're going to hear from the Fugs sing, I've been working for the landlord. And we're going to hear the great, the magnificent, one and only Professor Louie tell us what does it mean to be working class. Then I'm going to read to you from Thule's 1961 magnum opus, Thousand and One Ways to Live Without Working. This was first issued by Birth Press in 1961, and then in 1968 it was picked up by uh, Grove Press and reissued as a paperback with some more illustrations. I'm going to read to you at least as many as I can of ways to live without working. I've been working for the landlord all my live long life. We've been working for the landlord, me, my kids, and the wife. Can't you hear the alarm clock ringing, calling so early in the morn? Can't you hear the bosses bawling in voices filled with scorn? Sucker, what a check. Sucker, won't you wake? Wake your whole damn life away. Oh, you stupid jerk. Don't you love to work? Making shit for very little pay. Oh, someone's in the Congress with the landlord. And someone's getting fucked, I know. The landlord and the boss fuck the working class from New York to San Diego. Sucker, won't you work? Sucker, what a jerk. Work your whole damn life away. Don't you love your work? What a stupid jerk. Shoveling shit for very little pay. I've been working for the landlord all my live long life. Been working for the landlord, me, my kids, and the wife. the question I'm going to ask, what does it mean to be working class? Because today you say, you know, middle class, you can't pay a doctor, your car needs gas, you're still paying off your college class, what you owe your credit card is never passed, still your middle class this and middle class that, up or lower middle class till you eat your hat, got the gap on your back, you got a little fat, you're still paying for the chair where you just sat. Is it all over just like that? Who stole a good life? Where's it at? Or was middle class just a little dream made up for you on your TV screen where everybody's comfy or so it seems and no one ever eats rice and beans? Cause in the beginning there was just two classes. There was the elite and there was the masses. We did the work and they kicked our asses. Most everything passes. There are still two classes. Those who got it and those who don't. We think we're gonna get it, but really we won't. Those who own the companies and make the big deals, every deal could cost you a meal, and for real, not too many people hold the power. They make a million bucks while they take a shower. There's the owning class and the working class. Where are you at? Are you slow or fast? All you got to do is do the math. If you got a job, you're working class. If you're out of a job, you're really working class. We build the houses, work the fields, we run the hospitals and fix the meals. We make the family and work at home. Sometimes that's the hardest work of all. We clean the office and teach the kids. Everything around us is something we did. No matter what your color or your name, no matter the country from where you came, the name of the game is still the same. And if the owner works, is he working class? <clears throat> it all depends. First and last, if he owns a bodega or a little machine shop, he works for his money. And 
and he works a lot. He might be working for everything he got, but the guy who owns the corporation, he could work all day. It won't change him. He might be a nice guy. He might be a jerk. He makes his big money off of other people's work. You can't make millions going to work and getting paid. You need other people's work to really have it made. When we punch the clock, he owns the stock. We do the labor, he gets the flavor. We make the honey, but he takes the money. Because working people make everything. We're the ones make the cash register ring. And when our work goes to someone else's profit, now you got it and you don't gotta ask. That's what makes us working class. And if I talk about class just a little more, your TV says we're starting class war. But the real news has come and gone. The class war is always on. We just need to know whose side we're on. If we don't know our own class, you could take it from the poet. We will always take a beating and we won't even know it because your TV is programmed by the owning class, your newspaper programmed by the owning class, your search engine programmed by the owning class. When we don't know we're working class, the owning class will kick our ass. They get a real free pass. Cause you got no health care, get lousy schools. The TV brings your kids up to act like fools. You got no union, you lose your job. You vote for politicians who think you're a slob. Cause we sometimes forget there's a bottom and a top. Those who got it and those who do not. Better to remember and make no mistake. You're not an owner, you're a worker, and that's the brakes. And I bet there's nobody right out here who made $10 million just this year. So before I waste any more breath, before I talk myself to death, let me ask you to act on a fact that has come to pass. Your ass is in the working class. And before we get to another day, when we open our mouths with something to say, before you speak and the words are gone, it's good to know whose side you're on and what it means to be working class. Is that something from out of the past? Do we always got to come in last? That's the question we got to ask. What does it mean to be working class? And one last little question before I'm gone. Tell me, whose side are you on? Now, we know that working is slavery. It's something that you only do for money. It's something that you don't want to do. So it's very, very nice to learn to live without working. Uh, all right, now to start out, Thule tells us that the first way to live without working is number one, die. Uh, I don't know if you could live without working and die at the same time, but you can try. Uh, next one is someone else die. Next, find a million dollars in a toilet bowl. You, the only one, dares to fish it out. Three, beg and quit after a dollar a day. Four, steal. Five, go into business. Six, Marry a rich homosexual. Next, marry a rich sexual. Next, marry a rich asexual. Ten, marry rich. Next, divorce someone. Next, be in movies. Next, sleep in movies. Next, steal bread from pigeons. Next, steal pigeons. Next, dress up like a pigeon and also be fed. Next, WPA. Next, CCCC. Next, TVA. Next, BVD. Next, CHEKA. Next, FBI. Next, GPU. Next, Gestapo. Uh, the illustration here is of a cannibal butcher shop and uh, somebody is cutting up 
a leg here. Can you see this? I'm going to try to get this on the camera. That's, that's the 1961 Birth Press edition of A Thousand and One Ways to Live Without Working. I'm going to go to the paperback. And maybe this is easier to read. Uh, next, NY Police Department. Next, Army. Next, Navy. Next, Marines. Next, Wax. Next, Waves. Next, Fleas. Next, Live in a Lake. Next, Stud. Next, be a mistress or a master. Next, become psychotic or become a psychiatrist. Smoke long butts. Eat in Washington Market. Eat in Les Halles. Eat in Covent Garden. Eat at Ma's. Eat at Henry Miller's. Use ration coupons. Buy day-old bread the day before and sell it very fresh day-old bread, i.e. at a premium. Next, take in each other's wash. Uh, next, eat the donuts around thrown away holes. Next, become king. Next, Get elected king. Next, run guns to the Americans. Next, sell plans of Pearl Harbor to Japanese. <laughs> Next, invent gunpowder. Next, print the Gutenberg Bible. Next, print money. It's not a bad idea if you can do it. Steal money. Have money. Get along without money eat shit. Eat every other day then. Eat every other every other day, etc. Next, don't gamble. Next, gamble. Win a lottery. Win at poker. Win at casino. Win at gin rummy. Win at pinochle. Fall out the window and collect insurance. Fall in front of a subway and collect insurance. Fall in front of a taxi and collect insurance. Well, <laughs> if you could live uh, and do that. Fall and collect insurance. Collect insurance. Collect. Be a gangster or be a cop. Be a prime minister. Bet on the winning horse. Have a rich father. Have a rich mother. Have a rich cousin. Carry a message to Garcia. Collect. Discover America. Carry away from Newcastle coals. Eat your heart out. Eat your liver and your heart. Get a Fulbright. Get a Guggenheim. Get an Oppenheim. Become an alcoholic. Get sick. Get migraine headaches. Get a psychosomatic backache. Get a psychosomatic stomach ache. Get a psychosomatic book ache. Review books. Steal books. Write books. Uh, there's a picture here. You pay nothing, English-speaking, government screen trains, sleep in maids. This is an ad for maids that Thule has reprinted. Then he tells us, print books, eat books, go to California, go to Paris, France, go to Palma, go to hell, live on dreams, since you can live as cheap as one, if one is dead, kill. Catch farts and condense them. Sell Japanese prisoners. 
settle surplus Irishmen. One Jew given away with each ten Irishmen. Drop silver pennies in the dime coin box. Claim the machine doesn't work in the automat. Go to school. Go to college. Go to high school. Go to grade school. Go to kindergarten. Stay home. Suck your mother's titty. Be a caretaker in a full cemetery. <laughs> Eat more shit. Be a statue. Now, there's some kind of poem here. There's a picture of a woman mine worker. And this, uh, I'll read the poem. If you can't be a pine on the top of a hill, be a scrub in the valley, but be the best little scrub on the side of the rill. Be a bush if you can't be a tree. And if you can't be a bush, be a bit of the grass and some highway some happier make. And if you can't be a musky, then just be a bass, but the liveliest bass in the lake. We can't all be captains, we've got to be crew, but something for all of us here. There's a big work to do, and there's lesser to do, and the task we must do is the near. If you can't be a highway, then just be a trail, and if you can't be a sun, be a star. And it isn't by size that you win or that you fail, but the best of whatever you are. And that's by Doug Douglas Malick, forgotten poet, whatever. Now we're up to weigh 120 to have how to live without working. Be a tornado. Be a locomotive, be a starving artist, writer, intellectual, poet, novelist, shoe salesman, unemployed, starve, be a fairy, be a heterosexual movie star, sleep with the owner of a good hotel, restaurant, theater, bookstore, book, Sleep with the owner of a good travel agency. Sleep with the owner of a good kingdom. Support yourself. Have a victory garden. Make your own clothes. Cook for yourself. Eat your own shit. Take in borders. Then there's something about poverty here on the next page. This is the cover, incidentally of the uh, the Grove Press, the evergreen black cat version of Thousand and One Ways to Live Without Working, which is quite a collector's item now. Okay. Poverty pains the heart too much. Poverty makes one look weak and ugly and fades one's personality. Poverty makes one to be inactive and to talk less and appear as a sick person sometime. Poverty makes one to be popular in his community makes because he has no means to advertise himself. A poor man dies unnoticed because not many people know him. But when a rich man becomes mere sick, radios, newspapers, and other information organs will report it with sensational headlines. A poor man thinks every now and then he is not happy. Himself and his family are not enjoying life. They buy and they use second-hand dresses and shoes. A soup cooked with twos lasts for one week for the poor man and his family. A poor man wears patch-patch dresses not because he does not know that if it is not that good but because he cannot afford to buy new clothes. A poor man suffers inferiority complex. He cannot be offered an honorable seat at an occasion. A poor man receives insults, even from his very relatives, because people respect the money and not the person. Whoa. 
The poor man thinks more of his daily bread, but the rich man thinks more of his thousands of pounds and another profitable business to establish. The poor man lives in a small unfurnished room because he cannot pay for a de decent spacious room. The poor man knows nice things, but his condition has forced him to ignore those things. The poor man very heartily pays his tax rate or levy from his church or town. The poor man opposes any expenses which may call for new donations or levy in his association because he cannot donate or simply pay his own levy. When a poor man's wife delivers, he will not be partly happy and sad. He is happy because his wife delivered. On the other hand, he is sad because he has no money to meet up with the hospital or maternity bills and the maintenance of the child and the wife. A poor man shakes his head when he sees his junior or age grades enjoying life. He asks himself, what type of world do I come? In short, a poor man lives a poor life and suffers many things. In fact, the poverty pains the heart too much. Well, all right, let's see. Now, there's more of that. Then we're back to 1,001 ways to live without working. Sell your hotel, yacht, stamp collection, wife, clothes, 150, rare fish, turtle, vegetables, dinosaur, money, bookstore, books, book, poetry, paintings, novels, body to science, body to customers, Xmas presents, birthday presents, birthright, passport, socks, shoes, pants, other socks, undershirt, huh, okay, rare fish, turtle, vegetables, dinosaur, money, bookstore, books, book, poetry, paintings, novels, body to science, body to customers. Oh, we said this already. Uh, Xmas presents, birthday presents, birthright, passport, socks, shoes, pants, other socks, undershirt, underpants, brassiers, souvenirs, old girlfriends, panties, charm bracelets. These are all things he's telling you to sell. Wristwatch, wristwatch that works, hairpin, elastic bands, ballpoint pen, fountain pen. 230, pen nibs, pen holder, hair, eyelashes, fingernails, pubic hair, sweat, urine. Uh, some illustrations here. Shit to someone else who reads this book. Don't go up the Eiffel Tower, cost one new franc. Don't go up to the Empire State Building, cost the dollar fifty. Don't take the elevator up the Statue of Liberty, cost ten cents. At least back then, this is 1968. This is what we're in. Play dead. Huh. Now here's a picture of the residents of Tucson, Arizona, overrun by thousands of ho hobos. Let's see the picture here. Okay. Now on the next page, always walk, lick your plate, Willpower, ask your analyst, use magic, don't tip, always buy suits with three pairs of trousers, but don't wear more than two at a time, 250, always write your own books, grow your own tobacco, grow your own marijuana, roll your own cigarettes, smoke your own cigarettes, Smoke other people's cigarettes. Own your own house, or own a hotel, or own a monarchy. Always bring bottles back to the grocery. Buy on credit. 
take a loan to pay what you buy on credit, get credit to pay back your loan, also vice versa, find gold, find silver. Okay, we're up to copper even, diamonds, the footprints of a giant hound, live on an iceberg, live with the pygmies as a remarkable giant king, live in a department store, <clears throat> live with the Watusis as a remarkable tiny subject, live in a bagel, bagel factory, <clears throat> live at your mother-in-law's, <clears throat> Live in Central Australia, assassinate the Kaiser, read all the time, sleep, be president, be the Kaiser, marry an African king, <clears throat> marry the president, marry the Kaiser, marry a movie star, have quintuplets, sextuplets, septuplets, octuplets, novotuplets, Ten tuplets and marry a millionaire to 90, be thrifty. Go on a major Bose amateur hour. Uh, there's a picture here, it says, wish I could go to Europe. If I had one million dollars, if I was manager, I'd show them. I'd finish my work tomorrow. All I need is a little luck. Here's another illustration kind of vintage. Okay. Be a professional. Do not take a ticket in a cafeteria. Be strong. Become pregnant. Lick furts. Become a publisher. Become helpless. A writer. An editor. Be a rum runner. Teacher, nun, guided tour, stockbroker, storekeeper, pirate, sell your shit to pigeons, sell your ship to sparrows, win, don't eat cake, look at the television, be a freak, be on television. The golf links lie so near the mill that almost every day the laborer, laboring children can look out and see the men at play. Hmm. Repair television. Make television. Sit in an outdoor cafe and leave without paying. Invent Don Amici. Don't pay the